Well, hello everybody, welcome back to another video. This is the survival series. This is my Let's Play World, and it has been quite a while since we have been on this one, to be exact. And the last time we were on here, we were over here, and we were doing this. <laughs> this has uh, been an absolute mission, and I swear I start the start of the video when I'm on the survival world at this tunnel. It, um, yeah, it's... It's been a fun time, but I'm not going to get into this just now, but just know this is actually half done. I've been very busy on the Cornercraft world. But on today's episode, we're going to be doing some modifications now. When I mean modifications, I mean modifications to the Iron Golem farm. Around 80% of you watching this video right now are not subscribed. You might watch my vids all the time and you think you subbed, but you're actually not. So do me a favor to check if that is you. It only takes one second to click that subscribe button and then we're well on our way to 500 subs. Now, back to the show. Most of you who know that the Iron Golem farm is actually above ground and it's outside, right? I don't like where it is. So what I did was, you're probably going to be wondering, this has all been changed. Um, yes, I've been, I would say, slightly busy down here. I didn't like how close these two walls were together. So um, we removed all of the tracks that go to the underground forest that we built. Uh, I built this little room. It's going to be our trader room where all of our emeralds are. All of our high trade loot is going to be in this section. As you can see, nothing's done. Um, I have glowstone underneath every single carpet slab that you see. And to the left here, this is going to be another room that goes into a room that kind of looks like this. And then these two walls will be completely taken out and it will look like this side and this side. All the way down to the entrance to the underworld that we built. Now, in here... We have been slightly busy. Uh, up there, you uh, can see that we have the hoppers. Well, I kind of gauged whereabouts the Iron Golem is going to be falling. And obviously, this is going to be our collection area. We're going to have hoppers on either side that go to um, maybe two chests here and two chests here. If I could sort a uh, organization chest type uh, dealio with redstone. So we have all of the iron go over here and then all of the poppies go over here. That way we don't have to cycle through them because um, right now up here we have one chest and it's pretty much just collecting both things in one chest and i kind of feel like it can be a little bit more uh, organized when we uh build this one so it's gonna be a fun episode it's really gonna be a fun episode so what we have to do is we're probably gonna have to go up there um maybe box this in real quick i'm just gonna use wood for now that way when the iron golem does fall he doesn't run around in my base because that will be an absolute pain in my butt and i don't want that so we'll do the chamber we're gonna go upstairs uh we're gonna destroy the lava block and the hoppers so then hopefully hopefully he falls into that area um if not we're kind of screwed and i need to go grab some rockets so i'm gonna go to the mob farm grab some more rockets so we can fly around and uh we don't have to walk around because this is an absolute mission and nobody likes missions this is so bad like this upper level here compared to the rest of the the cave i'm most appalled about this one but i was very into this game when i first started playing it and i thought this room was like the best thing in the world but it's not <laughs> so <laughs> I'm going to go run up here to the mob spawner and grab some gunpowder, make some more rockets, and then we will jump back to this. I really wish I could make this smaller. I don't like the design. I really don't. Oh, look at the creeper chilling in his boat. So apparently, I don't really have that many rockets, which is mad. I thought I had more than this, but it's okay i'm pretty sure we lost all of our armor too when we died i think we died somewhere and i can't remember where we died so i don't know what the easiest way is to do this i think i might have to put a stopper here to stop him from falling down currently or i can just go ahead and do it um i mean if i have one i am while i'm running around i'm not too i'm not too worried about that i mean i can fix one i can't fix a bunch so we'll follow this iron golem down Yeesh. He's not having a good time in there. Okay, this is where I don't want to die. 
Um, I know I'm using wood, it's probably gonna burn, but for some reason it won't let me... Okay, there we go. We're good. We're good. Ugh, there's probably gonna be so many poppies in these, because I know... I have been slacking with poppies. Now, he should just fall to his death. And I do want to see whereabouts he falls. Anytime now. Yeah, because he should just fall. I think he's probably going to fall in, like, this block. So I think... So he falls on the four. Ah, this isn't good. Oh, they can't get me. Did he get out? Okay, so we have an iron golem running around now, which is mad. Uh, so I can actually probably shorten this up. If need be. That nah, he's not going to come down there. So I think he falls in these back four. Which is fine. So I can eliminate this lot here. And um. Hopefully we don't die. Oh that's that's why he fell out. Because we have a. Uh... Oh see that one fell there. Hmm. What if we make the chamber smaller all the way down. Hmm. All right, so I, I'm definitely going to block these guys in here because I really don't want to have them running around because then we have two down here now, which is crazy. I don't know how we have two down here. Maybe it's because the first Iron Golem is too far away from the spawn, so the game thinks that there's not one around anymore. So he f actually fell on on the block itself. Maybe I'll just keep this chamber this big. Um, and then just... Uh, did I not get any? I think I was going to use glass for this anyway. So... Yeah, he fell on this one. Does that mean I'm going to have to do this wide? Of a... Uh, of a chamber? I really didn't want to go that wide of a chamber. Really, really didn't. Because that just seems too wide. Did I make not... I made tinted glass. I was supposed to make glass glass. Because it'll be F silk touch. So let's go ahead and... Frame this in for a second. I really need to get them down to... Maybe I really need it here to be honest. I'm not gonna lie. I really need it right there So that's the plan the plan is to get him in this cylinder itself And then we can worry about everything else later as long as we can get them in the correct area I'll be fine What worries me is They're gonna fall onto this block right here, and then this is just gonna be completely poop I might have to maybe take the water stream back one so they fall closer to this back of the wall instead of the front of the build itself. So I'm going to get back up there and hopefully we can get this to work. So the craziest thing is about this build is I really fought this one through um, because when I built it, I kind of wasn't, like, the best, I would say, at building anything. And I really feel like I can probably make this a little bit more complex, you know, and not so huge and chunky. Because it is pretty small, though. I'm not going to lie. It, it, it is a pretty small build. He needs to go down there. Goodbye. Yeah, he, like, fell on top of the glass itself. This is probably what's going to be the trickiest is actually getting this dead on. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. I completely messed that up. So it looks like we need to get the dude to... Because I, I really feel like this doesn't have to be this big. I feel like I only need to have it like two blocks wide. Like, for instance, if we just put the, like a block here. No, no, no. Like, maybe here. And this will obviously all... This, this is just temporary. Like, we, we won't be keeping the wood up here.
they should only need a two by two, you know, like a two slot to. Hmm, yeah, you see, keeps going on it. Yeah, so I wouldn't say I'm like lost on what to do here. I would say it's definitely tricky. So yeah, he keeps you want to jump off. Hmm. <laughs> okay, let me go grab some stone and see if we can reconfigure this section when they fall off. To see if I can get the top of the build down to like two blocks. That way they'll you know, just funnel down into the chamber that we build. Because this is a huge opening. But I feel like if I kind of went down like this and then I need to push this guy off. Sorry, buddy. Go have fun. You're an iron golem. You're made out of iron, literally. And then maybe if we did this. Like, would that work? We should find out here pretty soon if that works. Go ahead and grab some... I can't jump up there? That sucks. Oh no. Okay, so I built a smaller chamber here and shortened up the downward stream that the Iron Golem usually would... Uh, go into now these are just all temp blocks like i'm not actually going to be using these just like this i'm just kind of figuring it out so they should or oh, he should should he's still falling on top of this glass block here now what happens if i just kind of push this one out one more then they should fall directly. Now, I don't think I'm going to get them to fall into just this one block, which it is what it is. I mean, that's my bad, obviously. I'm still new to a holy god. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is this is what we live for right here. I am golems. They just going to really suck when I have to kill them all. And I said I wanted this one more block out, right? Then we should be fine. Oh, no, 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 no. I need to be collecting these, not destroying them. I just wonder if I can shorten it up, but this is already in the middle of the room, and I, I don't like uneven things. I do not like them. I just feel like that's such a big kill chamber, you know? It feels huge. Now, if I hit one of these, I'm getting one tapped. And I'm not going to enjoy it at all. Okay, so we recentered um, the kill chamber itself. Which, I kind of went a little bit too big when I was digging the tunnel down here. Because this is actually all underground. Um, and there's water on either side of this. Like, we're technically underwater right now, but I kind of did what I had to do here to get this to, <laughs> to work. Hence why I got all the smooth stone. Okay, so the kill chain was working, which is great. Now I have to try and find a way how to get rid of all of these iron golems. Um, I don't know what kind of... Ah, <laughs> no! Well, that didn't work out very well. Apparently they can hit you, like, one block away. That's actually insane i was unaware of that i might be here for a, a, little, a little while man these things are so like tanky Ow! So it looks like that's pretty good. I mean, the rate of this thing is a lot better already. I used to get like, I don't know, maybe one every 10 minutes or something. And I've already got four and it's been 10 minutes already. So that's nice. 
So now what we're going to have to do is probably figure out where the signs go. I think the signs go... Where... I think it goes here, I think. And these all need to die. So I might actually have to block this off. Uh, which, which sucks, but... We gotta do what we gotta do to get this done. I'm sorry, guys. But it has to be done. It had to be done, unfortunately. I did not think of the fact that we still had to put hoppers and stuff down. Oh, please don't fall down here. This is gonna look like such a... That looks like a mess, but... It's, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, so the thing is, the hoppers are going to be one block higher than the bottom of the glass itself. So the lower level that I'm currently taking out is going to be where the hoppers sit. Because, I don't know, I kind of feel like it really does pull a room together when, you know, if you're mob farm or whatever. I feel like if the chamber is one block higher than the ground floor, it just, it just looks better because you can redesign the bottom of it to kind of tie into the room itself. I do need my chests too. Now, I might go ahead and just put... I think I might just do one and one for right now. Um, and then we'll probably have to do the automatic farm. Maybe, like, soon? Okay, so don't be mad at me. I went ahead and just grabbed some actual black glass. Because it was, it was going to bug me. Long I lie, it was actually going to bug the absolute poop out of me. So we went ahead and just grabbed that instead. And now I can actually destroy these because I actually do have a lot of this glass. So we'll pop up here. We'll go ahead and grab our signs. I think we wanted our signs... I think we wanted them here, to be honest. And then we'll pop this here. Go ahead and do that. And we should be good here. Now we just have to get all the way back up and destroy everything that we put out here. There's a lot on there. Ow, why did he hit me? That's really loud. <laughs> We need to run a new chamber. We actually need to follow that chamber all the way down to this section. So I'm going to actually go ahead and do that and not die. So that way they'll actually start funneling in the correct spot and not where I don't want them to go. Well, it seems to be working, which is great. Um, the lighting, I'm not too sure what I want to do with the lighting. I feel like the lava kind of gives off enough light in this room. Which I think is perfect. Um, I do need to go and get some more smooth stone though. Because I feel like I need to fill this gap in with a uh, smooth stone. Uh, do I have any wood? I do have wood. Let's go ahead and make this. And I'll go ahead and stick a crafting table in this room. Just to kind of have one I guess. Make some slabs. Because one thing that bugs me the most is seeing water droplets. And I'm pretty sure if we put slabs up, they shouldn't come through, should they? Maybe. I think we did it. And then we'll put slabs here as well. Just like that. So now we've got no drip marks coming through, because that would have really bugged me. <laughs> if, uh... It would have kept doing that and dripping. And then that goes there. Perfect. So it is done. It is working. Fantastic. Actually, 64 and 18 in there. And we have 15, 20 in here. So just over like, I don't know, 25 minutes of me. You know, maybe maybe 30 minutes doing this whole glass chamber. Because now we have a glass chamber going all the way from the Iron Golem farm all the way down here into this section. It took me a bit. And then I had to go get the black glass because I ran out. You know how that goes in Minecraft. You think you have enough stuff and then you use it all and you're not even done yet. So now I guess I will, I'll just, I'm just going to have to do some research on how to do a, a, a sorting system from uh, right to left. And I'll give this away because you guys might be a little bit excited about it. But I built one of these inside my corner craft world. 
with all of the crafters and to be honest it turned out great and uh, mix did all of my redstone to actually sort the items from left to right so now we have to pretty much figure out how to do that in our own world he used a lot of redstone though and i'll show you something i think i can go through here okay so this is behind the build itself i know it, it, it look it looks terrible i do have enough room to blow the back of this thing out and then do the redstone contraption that will in fact sort our items for us that way we don't have to kind of sort them ourselves because why would we want to sort them out ourselves when we can have redstone do it the beauty of redstone is just absolutely amazing now i can't remember if you stack the hoppers full of random items like dirt 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 and then you do the item. I think it will filter itself through those hoppers only into the chest. So my question is, I'm just going to have to get in touch with Mix. And Mix is just going to have to run me down. So Mix, if you're watching this, beware. I'm going to message you. And you're going to show me how to do it. Because I need to do it badly. <laughs> but on that note, thank you ever so much, you guys, for stopping by. We needed to get this done because I wanted to have my Iron Golem farm stash inside the world itself. If you enjoyed the video, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, go and check our Discord out and check the public SMP world out that we all love you guys for playing. But on that note, have a fantastic day. Hope you enjoyed. See you in the next one.